French fries with a fork, Joel. French fries with a fork, David. It's the way to do it. I believe that's a Seinfeld episode, is it not? <laughs> Ishmael El Amin at the free throw line. On the season 75%, I don't know if it's American or continental style, though. Fork turned in or fork turned out. But he's, he's staunch about it, saying, listen, my job is not to make them into great basketball players alone. It's to get them prepared for what comes next. And he does that in every area of life. Well, he really does. I love the example. He talked about Andre Beard when he first got there, went up to him and said, Coach, I hate you. <laughs> and then after he was in the program for a while, at one point he came over and said, Coach, I love you. So it was just a matter of buying in. But he was inducted into the Hall of Fame there in 2007 and, as you said, had a lot of different hats at that university. Second bucket for Andrew Scott. Four different jobs, AD, marketing, golf coach, basketball coach. Tough rebound, Tajay Teague back to the rack and one. Well, I tell you, Joe, the Mighty Oaks simply have to do a better job clearing the defensive glass. Cardinals are killing them on the offensive rebounds. It was another quick three-pointer, however, off of one pass, but the likes of Teague and Moses really doing damage inside. And this is be the Cardinals' 11th free throw attempt, and we haven't even played 10 minutes yet. There's not a foul on Ball State, conversely. Mallers nearly had the board. Yeah. Art Oakland City, its offense is actually cooking here. 7 of 14 from the floor. Yeah, you got to give them credit since that first media timeout. They've really played well, went on a little 12 to 4 run. Look at the nice patience, Joel. Nice ball movement. El Amin got his hands on one. Good drop back. And the three drops in for Andrew Scott. The no-look dime by Andre Bearden. He loves his coach right now. Yeah, he does. And I tell you, when the ball goes through the net, it's hard for the cars to get out and run. So that definitely helps the Mighty Oaks on defense. Just like that, it's a three-point game and a turnover for the Cardinals. That's their second chance to tie it. There you see Bearden with the great dish. Happened to set a screen on Mallers while I was delivering it. But again, that shot was with seven on the shot clock. Joel just showing a lot of patience with their offense. Drive and kick Hinton. His second three. David, he had come in one of 15 for the season, desperately needing shots to go down. He is a marksman. Yeah, he hit that 30-footer with one on the shot clock, and that certainly got him going. And we credit the Mighty Oaks, Joel, for crawling back in time this thing at 22. It's a 20 to 10 run, and we've got a tie game. Foul, though, is the seventh on Oakland City and the second on Andrew Scott, so Mallers has a chance to jump right back in front here. You know, Oakland City's doing on offense what James Whitford wants his guys to be doing on offense. Yeah, no question about it. And they are taking care of the basketball. You notice they had that flurry of turnovers at the start of this game, but they've done a much better job handling the rock, and the Cardinals haven't been able to get out and run. Back to a two-point Ball State lead. Oakland City has not led, could do so with a three here. The Oaks have hit four. And Joe Josh Thompson seeing some early action for the cards. Walk on off the bench, back to a tie game. Little step in, confidence out of the team from Southern Indiana. Worthington has eight. Sellers off the little head fake. Great extra look into the corner. El Amin just can't finish. It's also important to note, Oakland City's doing this without its best player. Addison Wagler hurt with two seconds left in their game on Saturday. Not going to play for two weeks. And Joel, you look at the stat sheet, the Cardinals have taken 15 shots. Nine of them are from three. They're two for nine. You have a distinct height advantage. You have to figure out a way to work the ball inside out. Well, there's your first foul on Ball State, Tajay Teague. We'll send Worthington to the, or rather, we'll send Scott to the line. And a chance now for Oakland City to take its first lead. And Oakland City doesn't leave anybody at the line. They want to get their defense set. 
I was going to say, or raging confidence in Scott's ability. He is an 85% free throw shooter. That plays out. Nine for Andrew Scott. The mighty Oaks with a lead. It's 25-24. Josh Thompson will run the point a little bit with Ishmael El Amin out there. Mallers, great hook in. Well, there you go, Joel. You had a feeling when the team was huddled at that other end for the free throw that Coach Whitford said, look, guys, don't settle for threes. Work the ball inside. You have the advantage. It's there all night. Mighty Oaks doing a great job to cut without the basketball. Worthington to Scott and a whistle on Sean Sellers. Well, Worthington is a good three-pointer. You've got to respect his ability to shoot it. Sean with the closeout. Worthington drove by, picks up the foul on Sellers. Great patience. No double team comes. Kyle just turning over that right shoulder. But that's what Ball State needs to do. Put the defense in a situation where if they're not going to help, go ahead, use your size advantage. If they do help, at that point, you can kick it out for an open three. Parsons got a deflection on that. Excuse me, Joel. Watch the crispness of the Mighty Oaks. Look how hard they're cutting. I mean, as an offense in execution, good screens, hard cuts. Anticipation. That pass opening up Bearden. David, you always like to say it. Great quarterbacks can throw receivers open. That's exactly what happened there. And again, milk the shot clock. A lot of patience. Cards unable to run when you got to get it out of the basket. It's a one point Oakland City lead, and Taylor Persons back in off the bench. Wipes that away. Josh Thompson, though, getting some extended time here. Now, part of that, no Francis Chiapwe. So the Cardinals are down a guard. But I think part of it is James Whitford saying, hey, go out there and play hard for me. Well, it is. I mean, Josh had played three minutes the entire season. Rebound off the hit and miss. Contact, no whistles. And Mallers gets mauled there. And Andrew Scott, I think, a little bit frustrated because he wanted a call while he had the ball. And Ball State will take a one-point lead into the under-eight timeout.